Hello! In this presentation, I'm going to discuss how my copyright lesson meets the requirements of the Assure model. So the first letter in the Assure model is A for Analyze Learners. If this were a lesson that were actually going to be implemented in a classroom, I would begin by analyzing the general characteristics of that class before I even plan the lesson. But for the purposes of this assignment, this lesson is targeted at six, a sixth grade reading class. And so to understand the student's general characteristics, I would review their records and confer with their classroom teacher to address any gender or cultural differences, as well as attitudes and interest patterns that may impact the lesson. I would also consider the specific entry competencies. Again, if I were actually implementing this lesson, I would begin with a class-wide discussion about copyright to gauge the student's understanding and see how much prior knowledge they already possess. Then, depending on how familiar the class is with copyright, I would adjust the lesson in real time. So if it seems like most of the students don't really know what copyright is, or know any of the terms around it, then I will spend a lot of time thoroughly explaining the basics and the terminology surrounding the topic. But if it seems like most of the students have a firm grasp on copyright, then we can move a little more quickly through the terminology section and get into more complex ideas around the topic. I would also analyze the learning differences and needs among the students prior to the lesson. Again, I would do this by reviewing student records like their IEPs or 504 plans to see if any student needs special accommodations, and I would talk with the classroom teacher to determine any preferred learning styles among the student group. So for example, if there are English language learner students in the class, then I would utilize more visuals in my presentation to help with their understanding and also provide extra time to complete their assignments in English. I would also be sure to accommodate differently abled students according to their IEPs or 504s or according to the recommendations of the special education teachers. And for gifted students, I would dif differentiate the assessments to include more challenging tests of their copyright understanding. And I would also try out individual and group role play with the whole class in addition to the lecture format to address many different learning preferences. So next, looking at the state standards and objectives. So for the standards, I included the national standard from the AASL, the engaged standard, which requires students to demonstrate safe, legal, and ethical creating and sharing of knowledge products independently while engaging in a community of practice and an interconnected world. And that includes ethically using and reproducing others' work, which falls within copyright. And then the state standards, one of the TEKS for technology applications includes digital citizenship. The student practices safe, responsible, legal, and ethical behaviors while using technology tools and resources, the student is expected to understand copyright principles, including current laws, fair use guidelines, creative commons, open source, and public domain. So this lesson addresses that standard as well. The objectives of this lesson are students will analyze original works to determine if it is copyrighted or under public domain, and students will correctly use copyrighted items under the terms of fair use. Next, select strategies and resources. So for strategies, I would use direct instruction through PowerPoint presentation to introduce the lesson. And if I were implementing the lesson in a real classroom, I would break into group discussions and likely even case studies if time permits to examine different scenarios of copyright usage so the students can practice the skills that they learned during the lecture. For resources, I would use a smart board or a smart TV and the PowerPoint software to deliver the lecture. And for the case study, I would have the students use Chromebooks or 
personal devices to discover the copyright status of different digital resources. And then students would also use these devices to create their own presentation using PowerPoint or Google Slides and pre-selected materials to display their understanding of fair use. Next, I considered how I would utilize these resources. So first, I would preview the resources by selecting materials for the fair use presentation assessment that will ensure that it's uh, that the materials are age appropriate and that they contribute to the student's understanding. And also it will save time of the students having to go and find copyrighted materials to use because this lesson or this assessment rather is intended to be completed in class. And so the students will need as much time as possible to complete the assignment. Next, I would prepare the resources by gathering the smart board, which would likely already be in the classroom that I'm going into, but I would ensure that it was there. And I would gather the Chromebooks and any other, any other equipment that would be necessary to complete the lesson. Then I would prepare the environment. So for the lecture portion, I would dim the lights so that students can see the PowerPoint clearly, and then turn them back on during the discussion and the assessment so the students can see their peers during the discussion and view their own work. Um, I would also arrange the tables and chairs so that all students have a clear view of the smart board for the lecture. Finally, I would prepare the learners. So prior to the lesson, I would make sure that all of the students in that class were familiar with the technology used in the lesson. In my school, at least, all of these sixth graders use Chromebooks on a regular basis, so I would be pretty certain that they would know how to use that technology and the Google Slides presentation tool. I would also introduce the topic of copyright in the most basic form, as I did in the presentation for this age group, and define frequently used terms around the topic of copyright. I also think the students will be motivated to learn this topic because I do make it a clear point that this has real world implications and they could be breaking the law if they do not know how to follow copyright. So I think that that will be good encouragement for the students to participate in the lesson. Next, require learner participation. So. If this lesson were implemented, it would begin and end with a class discussion about the topic. So as I mentioned earlier, we would start to try and gauge the whole class's prior knowledge. And then by the end, we would have a final discussion, kind of figuring out what we learned and comparing it to the beginning discussion. So students would also break into small groups during the case studies, discussing different scenarios of copyright to encourage collaboration and problem solving. At the end of the lesson, students would use the pre-selected copyrighted items in their own short presentation, displaying their knowledge of fair use. This presentation would be done in class so that they can receive immediate feedback while practicing their fair use skills to make sure that they understand how it works. Finally, I would evaluate and revise the lesson. The rubric for this lesson evaluates student participation in the group case study discussions by requiring students interact with their group members and present a solution to the copyright issue to receive full marks. The rubric also outlines criteria for the fair use presentation assessment. It requires students create a two minute long presentation using three to four of the fair use criteria correctly. It also requires the presentation to be visually appealing with zero to two grammatical errors to meet expectations. As you can see, there are also criteria for presentations approaching expectations and for those who still need some support. So that is all. Thank you so much.